Hey, 40 plusers. Greetings, salutations. Today, this is one of many videos today because I have time and I'm kind of settled. Uh, I'm doing the. I'm doing two Ipsy boxes, bags. These two. I have to figure out what they are November, December, January. One of them. And. The bags are okay. This one's easy to see in a purse and it feels pretty rugged. It's vinyl and it's lined. So this one might actually go in one of my new bags because it's so bright. This one, at least it's a top zip. I appreciate top zips much more than side. Um, so those are awesome. Okay, hmm, what was in this bag first? First we have from Pacifica, it's a organic vegan brand. Um, I can find it in my local Target store occasionally. They have a very small display. I mean like smaller than my head display. Okay. Well, this package had a 10% coupon off, but it expired two weeks ago. Say la vie. Okay, the shade is called Tender Heart. Power of Love. And packaging has some design elements, hearts and such. Tender Heart, it is a pinky brown. It's very dry, actually. No smell. That's that's a plus. If it doesn't smell good, it should not smell at all. Oh well, there you go. That's Tender Heart from Pacifica. Next we have from Peter Lamas. I like this brand a lot. This is a hand repair cream. Absorbs quickly, revitalizes, renews moisture in your skin lasts for up to 24 hours. Okay, we're gonna try this on the back of a different hand. Now, the face products I've had from this brand have all been orange. Does this continue over? Yes, this smells of orange also. I wonder if that's a brand element. If you know, or if you have a wider array of products from Peter Lamas, let me know. In fact, oh, that's not it, that's a cure. All right. That's the second item. Third item is from Elizabeth Mott. Um, Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer. It's in a pink squeezy tube. Let's take a look. And it is a pink toned cream. It's thick. It's moisturizing, I bet, also. Doesn't stink. It smells fine. I have to look this up. Elizabeth Maud is a Hawaiian company? I didn't know that. It says, distributed by Elizabeth Mott LLC, Honolulu, Hawaii. ElizabethMott.com. I'm going to check this out, because this feels really nice. On the back of my hand, anyway. Um... Okay, from Precision Beauty, I've got a pair of tweezers. I don't know if they're any good. They've got a good angle on them. We'll see. They're pink. Uh, and the last thing in the regular part of the bag, so that's one, two, three, four, fifth item. This is a sample of Tarte's Smooth Operator Powder. There's the Tarte logo. 
and I this is sealed I'm not gonna open it I've been interested in testing this out um, and setting underneath my eyes so we'll check that out today I actually am not even wearing foundation or BB cream or a tinted moisturizer or anything I just went without so that's why I'm a little bit redder than normal but I'm not plus the reflection right but I'm okay with that all right, and this is something I got with my points. This is the Buxom Bold Gel Lip in Sinful Cinnamon, and it is a matte shade. And this is another pinky brown. Um, I haven't had a buxom lip before. It's got the um, logo punched out on the side. It is a matte plastic tube. And wait for it. It's magnetic. It's my first magnetic lipstick. Yay. All right. Um, And we're going to put it next to the other one. Okay, so this is the Pacifica Tender Heart, and this is Buxom Sinful Cinnamon. It's deeper, richer, uh, it's got more pigmentation. Um, the Tender Heart is kind of sheer. And it's dry feeling. The buxom was not dry feeling at all. When you put it on, it catches on you. So this is like four swipes to get a similar opacity. Tender heart, buxom. Now this one's actually pretty sheer but buildable. This one's just flat out opaque. Very pretty. Both of those are very pretty. And it's magnetic. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up now. So, that's what I perked myself with, with the Ipsy points. So, I'm pleased with that. Now we're going to move on to the merch, the samples in this bag. One, two, three, four, five samples. First sample is a vanilla peppermint cream lip balm from the Lasting Smiles organization at Lasting Smiles. And a thousand of these tubes purchased results in one uh, lip cleft uh, correction surgery for children. And this is all kinds of good stuff. Um, fair trade, organic, etc. And it smells really good. Really pepperminty. Little vanilla. I'm digging it. And then we have, hey honey, open your eyes, eye contour lifting fluid. I have used a hey honey serum. I still have a little left. It was good morning honey silk facial serum. I would use this, it's basically empty, uh, for on and off for late summer into fall months. Um, I should probably actually throw that out. This is packed. Don't know exactly the ingredients. You have to go to the website. And it's a squeezy tube. So let's give it a squeeze. Okay, it is a milky white serum right there it goes on clear there's a pleasant scent it doesn't smell all chemically but of course if it's going around your eyes it should have very little scent it's got a cooling effect so it must have some kind of alcohols that are evaporating or tightening. If you put that on your under eyes, that would feel really nice. And it dries. 
It's not greasy at all. A set feels nice on the back of my hand. I'm going to give it a try. Eye contour lifting fluid. I must be fur down here. I have to look it up. Go to heyhoney.com if you want details. All right. This next product is from Peek. P E E K. This is natural stain brow powder. in the shade Espresso and it comes like in one of those retro 70s lip balm tins. And it's got felt around a brown powder. You can see the powder in the middle. So this is supposedly a brow powder. I don't get why the felt is there personally. And it's and you can see the a little bit there. Um, eh, okay. It was much more concentrated on a finger swatch when I tried to put it so we'll have to check it out. Doesn't look like it's a bad match, if you look. <laughs> Try it, can't hurt. And then the last two items would make a really nice Valentine's Day eye look. So from Pixie. You know, the green bottom. This is a mineralized eyeshadow duo in called Lavender Bloom. And uh, we have a shiny, uh, glittery taupe and then a frosty mauve shade. So we got a minerally glittery taupe, frosty mauve. They're very soft. There's the taupe, which is ba bam in your face. And there's the frosty mauve, which is very soft, but that's very pretty. Let's see what that looks like. And they are. There's the mauve on top and the taupe down below. It's almost bronzish. Maybe it is a light bronze, not a taupe. And they both have a definite sheen to them. The bronzy shade has more glitter. And the Mavi one has some sh shade shift in it. It goes from it has a little green shift in it. So that's cool. That's a really nice little duo. I would wear this. I will wear this. I guarantee it. And to go with that, a nice eyeliner from the Balm. It's Mr. Right Now. The shade is called Scott, and it is, just broke the tip off, a dark plummy purple, right there. So that right there looks really nice together. I can totally wear that, I'll wear that, I will wear that. So we have a mineralized duo from Pixie, eyeliner from The Balm, uh, eyebrow powder, eye, eye lifting fluid, cream, gel, something or other. So that's just four products for your eyes. You can use these all to make one eye look. And then 
a lip balm with a with a cause. I will have all the details down below if you're interested. Check out 40 plus 401 on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and the Twitter. Be happy, be healthy. Love you much. Bye.